Bruno Fernandes has hit back at suggestions he provoked Manchester United's penalty in the midweek win at Aston Villa, claiming everybody is entitled to their own opinion. The midfielder went down following contact from Ezra Konsa, with referee John Moss pointing straight to the spot. From the replay it soon became evident that Fernandes was the player to have fouled the Aston Villa defender, accidentally planting his studs into Konsa's shin as he tried to turn. VAR was happy with the decision though and gave Fernandes the green light to take the spot kick. He duly converted, sending Pepe Reina the wrong way as the Aston Villa players continued to protest with the officials. Villa boss Dean Smith could be seen barking at Moss from the touchline, John, that was never a penalty. The Premier League have since admitted they got the decision wrong while also making similar mistakes in two other fixtures that evening. Now Fernandez has spoken out on the incident, claiming he did not provoke the contract. It was a penalty, the referee said it was a penalty, Fernandez told Sky Sports. But I don't know, the contact there is normal. I don't provoke the contact. I just moved the ball back, take the first touch and the guys tried to take the ball. His leg stays down with me and I need to go on the ground with my leg, he takes me and I take him you know. It was normal contact but for the referee it was a penalty. We scored and opened the game there, everybody can have a different opinion. Further goals from Mason Greenwood and Paul Pogba saw United keep the pressure on Chelsea and Leicester in the race for the top four. The result means time is running out for Villa who looks set for an immediate return to the championship. While there were positives in the way his side started the match, Smith believes the controversial penalty decision changed the course of the game. It all changed around on the penalty decision, Smith said. I can understand John, referee Jonathan Moss, getting it wrong, he's on the pitch, but that goes to VAR and I don't know what they're looking at. It's a disgraceful decision but I can't really tell you what I think about it because I'll get fined. It's a poor, poor decision. They've got a screen over there they can go and look at but they don't seem to be bothered. Anybody who has been in football knows Fernandez is trying a double drag back and his first foot is on top of the ball and his next foot is on Ezra Konsa's shin. That, a Villa free kick, is what I thought he was going to give. The VAR official. And that's why I was, I won't tell you what I was thinking at the time.